next door to the only guy that can cripple you. Actually, I should make a correction on something I was saying yesterday. I thought that Davide Katai made the final table of this event last it's year. 11th, he actually right? went out in 11th. Yeah, he didn't quite make the final table. We'd seen him for so much of the penultimate day on the feature table. So clearly, he's already gone three better at least from it's his position a, it's last year. still an year. absolutely fantastic back-to-back -back achievement. It's, you know, the odds against doing that are large. Um, I'm so sorry about that. So yeah, and uh, well, Benjamin Kang on EPT Live yesterday was telling us all how tight that Lee Katai plays, and he's known to play tight, which is interesting. We'll see if he takes advantage of that at some stage. So it's a really great thing in poker where you have a reputation as something, you know, any kind of styling. If somebody, if players put you in a box, it's great. As long as you're aware of it and you can play against tight every once in a while. Yeah. You can make money. David Katai's got one, two, has his test, reputation. Test, one, two. Gives him the possibility of making a big bluff at some point in this final table. So Finton Gavin has finally turned up a little bit later than planned, but we were nice and we waited for him. Finton, one of two poker stars qualifiers, the other being Samuel Chartier. Of course, Sebastian Ruthenberg and Jason Mercier are official poker stars players. And we saw a brief shot of the money there for 1.36 million. Yum. In an attache case, which will be handcuffed to the wrist of the winner. <laughs> Tournament director Thomas Krems is stepping into position, a sure sign that play is about to get underway here, that cards will soon be in the air. And we can play some poker, and we can crown a new champion, the first champion of season five of the PokerStars.com European Poker Tour. Just a reminder that on EPT Live, we don't see the players hold cards because this is literally live action. We're seeing every single hand that these guys play. Obviously, if the hand is played to conclusion, if there's a showdown, we can see what they've got. But otherwise, we can but speculate, we can but guess. But it gives an interesting edge to the analysis. And if you want to watch this and play poker at the same time, we've got one of those popular EPT London satellites running. Of course, yesterday we had one of these tournaments. We're doing the same again today. It's a private tournament. $22 to enter. The prize package is worth $14,500 because you get your entry paid for for the tournament. Plus, of course, you get accommodation and expenses. It's going to start at 5 past 2 Eastern time. So in just under three hours' time, that one will get underway. And you'll find it on PokerStars. If you go to the tourney, click on Private, you'll see it. It's called EPT Live London Qualifier. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Note down that password. You're going to need it. Corrin2006 is the password. Corrin2006, the reference being Nick. Alan Corrin's autobiography. No. Vicky Corrin taking down the London EPT in grand style uh, in 2006, I'm guessing. You were right. At her home card room. That must be quite stunning. Plays there three or four times a week, pops down one day, wins an EPT. She won half a million pounds in 2006, and as Vicky jokes, most of it went back into the cash games at the Vic. This no, year. That's not true. I, I think we all know that. No. Uh, this year we have a guaranteed first prize of one million pounds with of course poker stars adding 250 grand to the prize pool that's quite something that's one that must be one of the bigger added money events in poker history isn't it, it must be must be that's a lot of free money but roll up roll up <laughs> well it's a fantastic package to win for just 22 dollars i mean you do have to listen to us so it's not it's not completely without a catch <laughs> Well, from the emails we receive, I think most people find it moderately entertaining, Boom. or at least bearable. Yeah, well, that's the that's the bar we've set ourselves. <laughs> Nuts at eptlive.com is the email address. Get your predictions in. All predictions that arrive after the first elimination are not valid for Nick's special correct prediction prize. <laughs> do we make predictions, James, or do we need to stay out of that game? Well... The reason I stay out of it, as you know, Nick, because I do believe in the commentator's curse, and I would hate to jinx a player by picking him. I mean, I do like the way that, Jason that Mercier said. plays. <laughs> I knew you were going to think I like the way I'd Jason hate to Mercier jinx plays. Someone. That said, <laughs> I think Jason Mercier is going to win. <laughs> if he had three or four hundred thousand more chips, 
I would be reasonably confident that he was right, favourite. But he is short stacked. 500,000 chips at this blind level is not comfortable. Yeah, of course, when we resume, blinds will be 15 and 30,000. So you're encouraged to shout for your favourite. Just pick one of your players which you root for. You want him to win. And if you think you played a good hand, you won a nice pot, it's good to cheer out, to applaud, and uh, to make a good atmosphere. Okay? Uh, so we encourage you to take part of the show. Thomas Kremser right. having a word with the crowd and at the gonna, moment. The All the people the gathered in the stands to watch the action and support nice their friends. I would also appreciate it. Thank you very encourage much. Encourage you to uh, cheer along at home, to uh, give yourself a bit of atmosphere in your lounge. <laughs> We've already had an email come in, Nick. This is from Daniel and Gide in France. Just to tell you that the Belgian friends of Davide Katai will make a big party in his honour at a five-star hotel in Brussels next Saturday. It will be cool to tell him. <laughs> so wherever so he at, finishes... at this point they haven't told him? No, it's going to be a surprise That's party. That's nice. That's very cool. So wherever he comes, they're going to celebrate. And that's right, because to make a final table, to cut through a field of 619 is an achievement in itself. And we ask all the audience, please do not use flash photography during filming. Thank you very much. Just like an umpire at Wimbledon, reminding the crowd not to use flash photography. There will be one. I guarantee it. it can put the players off in mid-chip movement, can't it? If they get a... Then my question, this is off topic. My question about tennis, I've never understood. Yeah. Why do tennis players need, qu need quiet to play? Why? Well, they don't at the US Open. They don't get it at the US Open. <laughs> the crowds chat, they talk on their mobile phones, right. they move around. That's fair enough. Footballers don't need quiet to line up a shot. I'll give you the concentration levels in tennis are a bit higher. Concentration levels uh, at the final table will be extremely high that's how I get us smoothly back into the game exactly we're talking poker here and you can join in the conversation nuts at eptlive.com is the email address to use and the most the most interesting thing James will be how this final table starts whether it starts aggressively or not we'll see well let's hand over to the floor and tournament director Thomas Kremser ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Grand Casino Barcelona our first final table of the European Poker Tour Season 5. 619 players started three days ago and they created a prize pool of 4,950,000 euros. Eight players are still left and they're playing for a first prize of 1,361,000. Let me introduce the final table players. Starting with the player in seat number one. He is the chip leader. He's from Denmark with 1,229,000. Let's welcome with a nice round of applause Martin Nielsen. In seat number two with 600,000 from Belgium, Davidi Kitai. Next to him in seat number three from Germany, he has 734,000. Let's welcome Dren Ukkela. In seat number four, we have a previous win of the last year in season four in San Remo. 526,000 he has to start this final table from the United States. Welcome Jason Mercier. <laughs> and in seat number five from Canada with 879,000, Samuel Chartier. And in seat number six, so with 359,000, from Italy, Daniele Mazzia. <laughs> and with 701,000 in the number, sen uh, number seven seat, from Ireland, here is Finton Gavin. And the player with the second best chips to start the final table. He also won a World Series bracelet this year from Germany with 1,204,000. Welcome, Sebastian Rutenberg.
We do start a new round, a full round with 3,000 NT, blinds of 15 and 30,000.